let's have this conversation. You know, they say it's better to be prepared for an opportunity and not get one. <laughs> you know, to be prepared and then you get that opportunity. What I'm simply saying is that each day you wake up, you must wake up prepared. Both mentally, physically, and even, uh, you know, even uh, your attitude generally. You must have that I will win today attitude. Do you know all the greatest people have been discovered? They wake up early. They wake up at the break of dawn. <clears throat> Waking up does not necessarily mean you have to wake up and uh, rush to go to work or go wherever. You can actually wake up and just watch maybe business news. You are reading a good book. That, that time you are preparing your mind for the opportunities that it can face ahead. I'm a, for even that a slight thing it will see and how it can be able to turn it into an opportunity. So like now you must learn to wake up early. Wake up. Get to town. You know, go to your office. Read something. Note things down. Know that this is what I'm following. Have it clear on paper that this and this and this and this is what I want to achieve in my life. This is where I am in this certain project. This is the cash I need. You know, you have to sit down and uh, you dissect it. Yeah? You, you can't wait for when you get the money to do that. You have to do it while you are waiting the money. I read somewhere this week uh, an article that was saying when you are waiting for that opportunity is actually when you learn a lot. What matters is what happens when you see like for example let's say you have uh, applied for a loan. It can even be it can, it's frustrating. It can take you two months because you know you just there you are waiting for the money to come. The one million bob to come and then you start buying this and that. Let me tell you it's very good even when you are stretched a bit because ideas bring new ideas because you see you had thought maybe not maybe i would need to open a shop for this and that then you realize ah okay there's so many shops you, you see this time you're just thinking the money is not yet there so you are you're refining your thinking yeah so what happens when you're waiting for that opportunity is very important it's preparedness and this is how you will get rich by preparing for that opportunity while you are waiting for it, not when it's there. You understand it? Because actually when you're even constrained, like the way you like the way you push a cart to the corner, it have to get a way of escape. You know, it's just like you. So sometimes when you're pressed by these issues, here you are waiting for the loan to come, you have other pressing beats, this and that. You know that that learning process, that pressing, that being pressed. Yeah, that's when you're growing. That's when the diamond is in you is being discovered. Because you know what they say is that the diamonds that are discovered, these are things, it can even have been a plank of wood maybe that 10 million years ago uh, went somewhere, you know, fell in a hole. Now, it's being pressed every day. Eventually, it becomes a diamond. So, the pressing is great for you. That's when the greatness in you will be discovered. If, if you look at a tree, the way a tree forms, it starts uh, just as a seedling, then it sprouts up a bit, start growing, start growing. Now, if, if, uh, if you go and uh, look at the parts of a tree, you'll find uh, the outer, the outer layer is actually called the bark. The bark is like now what is the protector of the tree, is, is, the, is the older segment of the tree, you know, is like the crust. That is now protecting the inner tree. So you find there is the bark. This is what they call the bust. Now that's uh, a bit inside. It's a bit softer. Yeah? It's just like your skin. There is the upper one. If you burn uh, through the sun, there is another uh, skin inside there. So so there is the bark. There is the bust. I think there is the cambium layer. You know, they are all inside the same tree you've been seeing. They are all inside. Until now you get, uh, I don't know if it's, it's the support that is uh, in the middle of the of the tree so you see it's taken time to also develop that way and even actually if you want to discover the age of a tree if you cut it across like this you just need to count those rings you'll see 
this one season, this two season, that's one year, one year, one year. So it's gone through that process. So it's the same thing with you. That time you are being pressed. Yeah, there's that outer, there's the outer strength that you have, that everybody sees. But you have the inner strength, the inner you. That is the inner you that is supposed to guide you and to kind of give a, an original shape to you. This is your definer and this is what you are. And you need, yes, it's good, it's guarded, but this now what defines you. And once that one grows, you also grow with it, you understand? So there's no point of giving up. There's no point of you saying that you can't prepare for the opportunity that it's only for others. Even people like Obama, they didn't have uh, experience of being president. So, you know, at some point he was actually lost in New York and all that. It's a bit of marijuana, cigarettes here, and then uh, maybe teaching this and that, dissolution and all that. Even Uhuru himself. At one, one point he used to be exporting vegetables to Europe and all that. He starts there hanging up and about. But when he get the opportunity, he's prepared because this something he's been thinking about, this something he's been fighting for. So even you, I believe that once you get this chance that is bound to come to you, you're going to shake the world. All the best. Oh my God, I hope it was...